With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is write a balanced chemical equation for each of the following reactions and also classify them. That means that you have to tell the type of the reaction which is taking place, right? So, talking about the first part, the first part is lead acetate solution is treated with dilute hydrochloric acid to form lead chloride and acetic acid solution. So, if we talk about lead acetate, then lead acetate is PV, CH3COO twice, right? When this reacts with uh, dilute HCl, then it leads to the formation of PBCl2, right, which is a solid precipitate along with the formation of acetic acid which is CH3COOH right so you have to balance this reaction now so as you have 2 CH3COOH here so this will be 2 right then you will be getting 2 HCl right so now this is a balanced reaction and if you look at this reaction carefully then you get a solid precipitate here so this reaction is called precipitate reaction right precipitate reaction but majorly it is a double displacement reaction right double displacement reaction now why this is a double displacement reaction why this is a double displacement reaction because if you look at it very very carefully you see that in the reactant side you have pb ion and h plus ion and uh, pb ion acetate ion h plus ion and cl minus ion right this is what you have but in the product what you see is that the acetate ion is replaced by the cl ion and the cl minus ion is replaced by the acetate ion so basically what is happening exchange of ions is taking place that is why this reaction is going to be a double displacement reaction and this reaction is also known as a precipitate reaction because the precipitate is formed in this reaction this particular reaction is also a precipitate reaction and also a double displacement reaction right talking about the b part the b part is that a piece of sodium metal which is na is added to absolute ethanol absolute ethanol means C2H5OH, right? This is the chemical formula for ethanol. It leads to the formation of sodium ethoxide. Now, the formula for sodium ethoxide will be C2H5ONA, right? O negative Na plus. Now, this is the formula for sodium ethoxide, right? Along with the liberation of hydrogen gas, right? If you balance this, you will get 2 here, 2 here, and here right so this is a balanced chemical equation for the given part talking about the c part now the c part says that iron 3 oxide on heating with, cash, uh, with carbon monoxide gas so iron 3 oxide is fe2o3 when it is heated with carbon monoxide which is co it leads to the formation of solid iron which is fe right along with the carbon dioxide gas which is evolved okay so if you balance this reaction you get 3 fe over here right and uh, sorry 2 fe you will get here because you have fe 2 3 so 2 fe is something that you will be getting here right so we will have 2 fe fine and uh, then we will have 3 co and then we will have 3 co2 so this is the correct balanced chemical equation for the part c now talking about the part d the D part says that hydrogen sulfide gas, which is H2S, H2S gas reacts with oxygen gas, which is O2 gas, and it leads to the formation of solid sulfur, right, along with the water, which is in the liquid state. So, this is how you're going to get this reaction, right? So, if you balance this, you will get 2 H2O, 2 sulfur, right, and yeah. That's the correct balanced chemical equation in two H2S also. So this is what the balanced chemical equation looks like. Now you also have to identify the reaction. So talking about the B part, if you look at this reaction very carefully, then this is a displacement reaction, right? This is a displacement reaction. Now why this is a displacement reaction? Because what is happening? Sodium is displacing hydrogen here, right? Sodium being more reactive than hydrogen displaces hydrogen and forms ONA over here and hydrogen gas is liberated, right? That is why this is a displacement reaction. Now talking about the next one which is Fe2O3. Now this is a redox reaction, right? This is a redox reaction. Now why this is a redox reaction? Because if we talk about Fe2O3, then Fe2O3 is getting reduced to Fe, right? Because there is a loss of oxygen. Whereas carbon monoxide is getting oxidized to carbon dioxide because of addition of oxygen that is why this is a redox reaction right and then talking about the last one the last one uh, 
is a type of a redox reaction again, right? The last reaction is also a redox reaction. Why? Because here, what are you observing? H2S is converted to sulfur, which means that loss of hydrogen has taken place and loss of hydrogen means oxidation has taken place, right? Whereas if you talk about O2 to water, then what do you observe? Loss of oxygen has taken place and loss of oxygen represents reduction. So both oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously. That is why this also is a redox reaction, right? So that's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.